All right, hello guys. So I have I have a bit of an an announcement to make that's going to and maybe put all of you into shock and awe. And I think my friend Marshmallow here has an announcement as well. Yes. Um. I you know I just recently sold my fifteen hundred dollar PC because mm -hmm. I thought Mac was just so much better. Yeah, I know, right? It and it is so much better, obviously. Um, I, mean, I, I sold my computer, I mean, I just put a 980 in it, or a 980, 970 in it, and then I was like, you know what, I, this this is just too much FPS, my eyes can't see this, it's pointless. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a new monitor and everything, and was like, no, I can't stand 120 FPS, 60 FPS, 1080p, I can't stand it, it's stupid. So, so I, I decided it's time to sell this, and for the exact same price, get... Get myself a little Mac, Mac laptop. Yes, um, I I, I bought the MacBook <clears throat> Air, the 13-inch one, for a thousand dollars. So you know, I have five hundred dollars to buy all the little knickknacks and things. You know, like the uh, ports. You know, they're really, really helpful. Uh, yeah, super high quality ports. Um, and they're not. They don't cost much either. I mean, that only a hundred dollars. Yeah, only like a, a couple hundred for some of the ports. And they're they're really high quality. I mean, uh, sure, if you drop them off the table, they'll break. But you know, you can like um, put them in Tape your pocket, it. and they only bend. Yeah, so, and then and then I found out but, that my 13-inch MacBook Air has 12 hours, and I think I know why. I think it's because there's such little processing power in it that that it doesn't require that much voltage. But, of, of course, with the Max, less is more, because the operating system is just so much better that um, a, an Intel Atom running Mac OS is going to sh just going to way outperform a PC with a i7 4790K. Even with it overclocked, the Mac will just outperform it because the operating system, the operating system just has so few features on it. You don't, you don't need a powerful computer. You know, I just love my Intel i5 um, processor with Intel HD graphics. I mean, Intel HD graphics is the top of the line stuff these days. Yeah. I'm... And and this is the nice thing about it. It'll slow you down nice and slow. So, you know, you're only getting, like, 15 FPS, whatever you're doing. And, and don't forget the MacBook Air only weighs 2 pounds, because there's nothing in it. Yeah, there's literally just nothing in it. And that makes it so much better, because that lightweight, combined with an operating system that's just so simplistic, and it runs just like a PC would, but oh, it's so much better. And don't forget the innovation. Uh -huh. I mean, they actually put in Wi-Fi. I mean, it's that way... Um, since it doesn't have any ports on it, mm -hmm. you can actually access the internet. Yeah, I mean, I can't access the internet, or I couldn't with my desktop. I mean, I'd have to plug in this clunky Ethernet cable, and it gave me like 60 megabits per second, but I don't like 60 megabits per second. It's and I'll tell you why. I don't like it because it means that I don't have loading times, and sometimes I just like to relax and sit back while my web page loads for three minutes. You know, that's what I like about using a computer. Yeah, it's not what you can there and waiting for the web page to load. It's relaxing. It's therapeutic. Just so, to watch so you that can circle. Or, you know, like, you know how you love watching the ball of death? Well, you know, sometimes whenever you just get bored of the ball of death and you just, you just leave the ball of death to do its own thing while you go outside for a nice, peaceful jog. Mm-hmm. I mean... And, of course, you'll have your... You'll be listening to all your music on your um, iPod Nano. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, you know, the Apple Watch is finally here. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to get this. Mm -hmm. It it has almost the same computing power as their laptop. Almost. It even it even has the most useless feature of looking at your heart rate um, beats per second mm -hmm. or beats per minute. And you know, useless useless features are are just the best because they add flavor. It's like well, why do you put basil on your pasta? It adds effect. You don't eat it, but it's it makes it better. You guys yeah, know what I mean. It makes it better. I mean, Apple's like a high-quality restaurant. You pay so much for such a little piece of steak. Uh-huh, but it looks good. And that's yes. the point. The presentation is all of it. 
I, I mean, it's only a, an ounce of steak, but more than that would make you fat. I mean, the Apple Watch actually functions as a watch. Oh yeah, it functions as a watch too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought it was just going to be there to look at my heart rate. I'm back. Uh, oh, so um, what what is your opinion? Because I know Trish that you just sold your your Alienware and your Alienware laptop laptop and bought the new MacBook as well. So um, what do you think about the amazing um operating system with uh with no features, meaning that it can nearly uh double the performance, even triple the performance of um any Microsoft operating system because there's nothing happening. So, um, what do you think about your new your new MacBook? It's amazing. I mean, it's got a user friendly. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. It only it's has got a user friendly single port. system on it, so yeah. it's pretty simple for me since I just get things that are shiny. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, and it who comes doesn't in, buy it things comes that are in shiny. gold? It comes in gold too. So all those people who like shiny shit, I mean, um, shiny innovation, um, you can get that. <laughs> And um, there's o and it's not like uh, personally, I always hate it when I take my Ethernet port or Ethernet cable and I would try and plug it into my audio jack and it just it wouldn't work. But you know, you know on the new on my on my new um, Mac laptop, you could you could just you can't plug anything in, so there's no more confusion. You know what you know what I love about Apple mm -hmm. is is they say the most complex words to describe something so simple. Like yes, it, it anodized aluminum cases. Anodized aluminum cases. Doesn't that mean it's just dusted? Yes, but that's the beauty of it. It's back to the basil leaves on the pasta. Remember? You've got it it just adds flavor to it. It's like a fine wine. It adds flavor. And then it's strengthened ion X glass <coughs> and durable. I'm sure it bends. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't forget the stainless steel or space black because, you know, whenever you put space in a word, suddenly it interests people. Mm -hmm. And that's just. That's... That interests me. Yeah, you know, of like course. The 18 karat gold, you know, you know it's only $10,000. Mm hmm. And that, that's I mean, the watch I... you're talking about, right? Yeah. I could have an Alienware you for could less have, than that, you could have had, but you know, gold. Yeah, I, that's Shiny. the point. That is exactly the point. You could have gotten something. You could have gotten something just fabulous and amazing. But you, know, you got an Alienware. Another thing. And, but then you made the right choice. You sold it and you got your your Apple laptop. And now everything everything runs nice and slow so you have time to enjoy life you know those new apple commercials that are going on and they're like recorded on an iphone 6 mm -hmm. you know what's real funny about that what is I it because it's a load of bullshit oh oh get wrecked apple users i'm still using my pc yeah. oh you thought this was a good video to show your friends about why apple is the greatest and greatest ever ha huh. get wrecked apple sucks jaden, bull sack. jaden i'm pretty sure they knew we were being sarcastic what you couldn't you, you think they couldn't tell i mean i would have they're personally pretty stupid. they're pretty stupid I, I mean, if you're an Apple user, you're pretty stupid. I mean, I mean, isn't the iPhone 6 supposed to bend? Right? Right, guys? The iPhone 6 is supposed to bend. No, and that's then, bullshit. Here, let's look at the iMac. Oh, for only <laughs> a 4K monitor. Or 5K display. Oh. Starting at a low, low price of $2,000. How do you push those pixels? That's what I got my, my laptop for. How do you... 14... 14.7 million pixels. Just how how do you push 14.7 million pixels with Intel integrated graphics? Tell me that. Wait, okay. what graphics card does iMac, it have? Is it Intel iMac has always, integrated? iMac has always been having has been about having a huge immersive place to see and create amazing things. So making the best possible iMac means making the best possible display. The 27 inch iMac with a Retina 5K display displays has four times as many pixels as a standard 27 inch 
iMac display because it's probably 720p. So you experience an unbelievable detail on an unbelievable scale. Yes, so if I were to go out and buy a 5K monitor, and okay. then if I, were to, if I were to go out and buy a, like, a $500 computer from Frogs... You know what's funny? Nothing like, comes with it. Not even the power cables come with this computer. Some Acer bullshit computer. Oh, right? and don't, don't forget how innovative it is that they made it a quarter of an inch thick. Mm, mm. You know why it's a quarter of an inch thick? Because there's nothing in it. Um, exactly. <laughs> they, there's nothing in there except 5K monitor. Which, I'm sure, I mean, if you were oh. to try and do anything at full resolution, it probably... Oh, look at this. There's they, probably input lag on the mouse. They, they put in Such a quad-core Intel core. I mean, that's the first time they put in a quad-core Intel core. I mean, it is available for up to 4.0 gigahertz. I mean, what graphics does it have? Tell me that. I, I, and the latest AMD graphics. Oh God! Oh God! Oh. F and oh, and it has two, <coughs> two, ports. There's a very powerful Mac behind those pixels, because yeah, that's the most expensive thing. The most innovative. You... It's the most innovative, obviously. I mean. I, no one has ever put a Radeon graphics card in a computer ever before. I it's know. Like, it's and like space age technology up in that up in that Apple. You know, they're not Apple. saying what graphics card is in there. They're just saying it's the latest. It's probably it's okay. No, I'll tell you. It's they probably the probably, latest low they end. They probably put some fucking bullshit HD seven uh, seven thousand series in there, like some cheap seven thousand series too. Or, or, oh my god, only thing that can make it worse is if they put in, like, a GT 520. Oh my god. Or no, a GT 420. The fucking the GT Mac, 420 is the lag Mac, central and the back Mac, central. The Mac Pro. Otherwise known as the Mac Trash Can because it is trash. Uh-huh. Sometimes you can take a major step forward and have two steps backwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. They began work on the Mac Pro... They considered every element that defines a pro computer graphics storage, expansion, processing power, and memory. And we've challenged ourselves to find the best, most... Okay, I want to see the performance. Actually, actually, tech specs. Tech specs would be great. Okay, it has a Mac quad-core, okay? A Mac quad-core? I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It, it just has a Mac quad core. So what they mean, what they mean by that is the absolute cheapest AMD FX um, four uh, four thousand. Oh, 4, but if you want series processor, but if you want the six core Mac oh. version that oh. runs at three point five gigahertz for rendering, I'm assuming the Intel Xenon is the way to go. I mean, it is the most expensive most innovative thing they've ever made. Oh, what? They're putting Xenons in there? Yeah, for oh. only $4,000. Oh, oh, I gotta pick me up one of these because, you know, um, Xenon, a four-core Xenon is so, has so much point to it. I mean, the poor core, the per-core performance of a Xenon processor might be a piece of shit, oh, and they might rely this. on um, they? the core count, to you be know what? Worth anything, but you, you know, know what's that's not what's important. Jaden, you what? know what's amazing? What? They're charging the low, low price of four thousand dollars for sixteen gigabytes of DDR3, eighteen sixty-six megahertz memory. I think that's worth it, honestly. I mean, I you know, I don't have I anything paid. like that in my computer. I know, I right? I mean, I, I don't have sixteen. Don't. I don't have sixteen gigabytes of DDR3 1600 in my computer. And I mean, my computer wasn't, you know, one thousand two hundred dollars when I got it. Unlike the, and not to mention, not to mention, four core i seven. Oh, hey, look at this. Probably wrecks their Xenon because they probably put a piece of shit in there, like an actual piece of shit. <laughs> Dual AMD Fire Pro D five hundred graphics. Oh, God. That's that's with passive cooling. Oh shit! You know what I just realized? They probably. Three. They're probably using. Gigabytes. They're probably using fucking Sandy Bridge architecture too. Three gigabytes of DDR5 VRAM each. Mm. There's only two of them in there. 
Okay, well, so what is that? A total sum of six gigabytes of of VRAM? You know, one nine eighty Ti can is more than that. Mm hmm And cheaper, way cheaper. Oh, it, one thousand five hundred twenty six stream processors. Mm -hmm. Um, three hundred eighty four bit wide memory bus. Whoop mm -hmm. whoop! Sound of the police. Right up in here. Yep. 2.2 teraflops of performance. I'm pretty sure no one knows what this is. 2.2 <laughs> teraflops of freaking graphics performance? That makes me want to shit testicles. That is horrid. Configurable to dual AMD Fire Pro D700 with each with 6 gigabytes of DDR5 VRAM. 2848. You know how much they're going to charge you for that? 5,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want. But hold on. It is, unfortunately, it is time to end this, this rant, because we have, of course, reached the 16-minute um, mark. So, thank you all for, watch, for watching, and uh, continue to do whatever it is that you continue to do, because I can't tell you what you should do, and I shouldn't tell you what you should do. But my friend Marshmallow over here is, of course, going to tell you all to stay mellow. Stay mail and marshmallows, and uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. I oh. read all of it. Yes, uh, I do too. Alright, see you next time.